Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zelda Save here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we continue to work our way through the Frontier Cavern, making it to sub level 6, where we end the episode off by killing a Baldman. <laughs> I think its corpse poses well for us for the rest of this episode. I think we shall do many great things and accomplish many splendiferous tasks. But more importantly, we have larger things to worry about. For example, we have. Armored cannon beetles trying to murder us. Um, this will be quite the situation, I do say so myself, and of course I do not want you guys to... Okay. This is how we're going to do this. We are going to quickly... God damn it! No, I do not want to gather Louis. I do not want to get Louis. No. No. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is super bad. All right, first, 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 kill the, kill the dump, kill the water dump. Boom! Water dump, you dead? Get out of here, boy. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, this is awful. This is so awful. I hate this so much. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to have Louis sit right there, and we are going to have him. Be the, be the, be the cannon beetle, armored cannon beetle fodder. And then we're going to do this. No, 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 why are we setting this floor? I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, friends. After that horrible disaster of what I thought trying to kill an armored cannon beetle larva, we are back to set level six. Um, obviously, as you can tell, the random dungeon generator gave us a break and spawned the armored cannon beetle larva out there. Although he seems to just be making his way on over here. I don't really know why the hell he would just be doing his own sweet thing. Um, well, more importantly, we are going to kill him the old school way. And by the old school way, I mean the cheap, cheap way in which we make him kill himself. Or kill everything else and then kill himself. Or, yes. Come on, come on. Oh, baby. Oh, we can even test out our new rocket punch. Falcon punch! Show me it moves. Oh. Yes, Louis, those are some great moves right there, my friend. Hey, hey, water double. Hey, water double. Punch you. I'll punch you. Punch. Punch. Rock a punch. Hung kick. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. Oh, those are some pretty fresh moves, moves Louis. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. Oh, water double. Show me your moves, man. Jeez. Okay, rock. Come on, rock. Let's rock and roll. Let's dance. Rock. Let's dance. Oh, punch right in the butthole. I punch you right in the butthole, boy. I'm gonna punch you right in the butthole. Come on, come on. I'm gonna punch you right in the butthole. Oh, punch in the butthole. Woo! Dude, these uh, these aren't cannon beetle larvas. Are kind of kinky. They like, they like some crazy stuff, man. Just punch him in the butt. He's gonna be getting really off on that. You join that one? Oh, he's so tired. I just put the board to sleep. What the? Oh my god. You, this game is such a jerk sometimes with this freaking random dungeon generator. Oh, look at this Baldman. What the hell are you doing, Baldman? What the hell are you doing? I'll punch you in the butt, and then you're gonna get rocked in the face. I mean, in the butt. Jeez, man. What are all these enemies and liking, liking me punching them in the butt? Taking rocks in the butt? Man, these are some, these are, these are messed up things right now, boy. Yes, in case you're wondering, this, in my personal opinion, is the one occasion, or not the one occasion, the one of many occasions in which taking your captain out to kill enemies is a really tactically wise idea. Because as you can see, I would need blue Pikmin for this entire thing. And no way, no way in hell would I ever trust a group of blue Pikmin to do what I'm doing right now. There's no way in hell I would ever let them do this. They would all die. They would all die. Every single last one of them would not come out of this situation alive. There we go. Okay. Is there anything else here that needs to be murdered? Heaven knows that I need to murder so many goddamn things in this planet in order to survive. Okay. 
Apparently, no. Those water dumples can stay over here and be sad and lonely all by themselves. All right. Olima, come. We need the blues for everything. This is the reason why that, um, the blue candy pop bud, I, the blapolis blah, blah blah thing, was on the previous sub-level because this, uh, this particular sub-level is super rooted in having blue Pikmin. Which, now that we have 30, isn't all that bad for us because we can very easily bring back a lot of treasure simultaneously. We are not going to let you guys run through that fire because I know you're all going to kill yourselves. Come, my friends. One more. There we go. All 30 of our blues are now tasked with... Oh! Oh! Oh my... Oh god! Okay, let's, um... Come on. You're all gonna get by that fire, I just know it. Yep, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Come on. Come on. Gary. God damn it! Are you ever gonna get through this? We will not rely on the reds for this blues. We're gonna be independent of them for this particular situation. Come on. Come on, carry that. Carry, carry. It. Oh, god damn it! Come on! Useless pieces of garbage. Alrighty. Firstly, we have the Black Queen of Chess. What's this? The priceless statue. Hmm, he's very valuable to Captain Olimar, in his personal opinion. I don't care if you're gonna get burned by this fire. You need to destroy it. Or else it will destroy you! There we go! Alrighty, now that it's destroyed, now that we've destroyed it, we no longer need to fear destroying us! So, god damn it. Come on. Parry that thing. Thank you. Try. Try harder. Please, just try a little bit harder. God damn it. You are so incompetent, I hate all of you. How did I lose five Pikmin? How did I lose five Pikmin? How did I lose five Pikmin? I'm not gonna lie, friends. For the love of me, I cannot remember how on earth I lost five Pikmin. Well, we lost- Oh! 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 Oh, I know how we lost five Pikmin. <laughs> There's no way those guys made it back alive. <laughs> Knowing how much trouble I had with the first time. Oh, you know what? Screw this. The blues, the freaking reds are right there. Oh, oh, okay. Of course that's gonna happen. Oh, they did it! You guys did it! You're awesome! Holy crap! Well, I know how I lost five blues now. <laughs> yep! Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. Oh, God. Hey, at least I noticed that now. I didn't notice it, like, a video from now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And what is this? It is the worthless statue. A little bit of a, uh, a pun. Well, not a pun, but a little bit of a joke about the value of kings and queens in chess. The king being worthless because he doesn't do anything, and the queen being priceless because of how valuable of a piece she is. Alrighty, and this particular situation is one of the rare occasions where you can't actually bring all your Pikmin to the hole with you as you leave. Um, a viewer, I believe, asked me if I was aware that you can return to you, uh, you can descend sub-levels without having all your Pikmin on you, and yes, I re replied to him, but if he's listening or if he's watching, I know that you can descend sub-levels without having your Pikmin with you, because this wouldn't be possible if you had to, because you could not get all your Pikmin, except for the blues, through that water without them all drowning to death. Although I do believe that there is actually a little funny thing where if you have a non-blue Pikmin drowning in water, if you uh, sea stick the blue Pikmin into them, they actually throw them out of the water and save them like little mini lifeguards, <laughs> which in all honesty I think is hilariously adorable. <laughs> Alrighty, um, now that the blues have kind of lost their purpose, let's uh, let's use the blues for these whites. I don't really think we need blues for the rest of this dungeon. That really, not really, not really at all. Because we only have one more sub-level after this. This dungeon only has eight sub-levels. And we will be able to defeat the rest of this dungeon in this episode. We are making good progress for this one. In the last one, I hoped to get further, but we did not. That is not a big deal, because we cannot change what we cannot do. Which made no sense at all. Why did I say that? Anyway, um... I was going to say something meaningful and passionate. Um... One thing I do want to ask is, um, we are getting pretty close- Oh, lordy, okie dokie, I know what I'm gonna do now. Alright, but as I was trying to say, we are getting pretty close to the achievement of the 10,000 Poco limit. Oh, my lord, okay, good thing we, uh, are coming out here with Olimar. The 10,000 Poco limit that we need to obtain in order to fix the debt and brought upon by our company. However, we are getting very close to that number, and I know there are lots of dungeons that you guys would like to see. 
what dungeon would you guys personally like me to end it on? Um, I, I'm pretty sure I know what you guys are going to say. I know what a lot of you want me to see. I know what dungeon a lot of you guys want to see me do, and trust me, I am very well aware. <laughs> More aware than I certainly like to be, um, on that situation. Oh, orange ball orb, go to sleep, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Shh. Hush, little baby, don't follow me. I am going to kill you mercilessly. Once you go back to sleep, my friend, you are going to meet your quick end. With my Pikmin by my side, we are going to kill you until you hide. Anyway, we're gonna stop that. Alright, that was all I'm gonna say. Um, I know what dungeon you guys would probably like to see me end it on, but let me know in the comments just what you guys are seeing, just so I can confirm. Because I, I, I already planned which one I wanted to end on, but... I want to make sure that it is the right one that you guys want to see. So, if any of you are curious, just post a quick comment being like, Hey, I'd love to see you get the 10,000 Cocos in this dungeon, something like that. That would be great for me! Okay, I was going to lose Pikmin if I didn't do that. God damn it, Purples, you need to be better at stunning enemies. For Christ's sake. Good God. You guys are so awful at life. Where are these gem treasures? Where are all these damn treasures? Where are these damn treasures? Okay, well, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is super bad. Oh god, super bad. Super bad. Super bad. Super bad. Alright, let us merely... Okay, let us clear the path, because these Pikmin are going to have to run straight. Did I just hear something? Okay, I thought I, I could have sworn I just heard the sound that the, um... God, for the love of me, I can't always forget what these damn names are called. The Iridescent Glint and the Iridescent Flint Beetle. I thought I just- OH MY GOD! WHY ARE YOU AWAKE? WHY ARE YOU AWAKE? WHY ARE YOU AWAKE? OH MY GOD, WHY ARE YOU AWAKE? WHY ON EARTH ARE YOU NOT SLEEPING? WHY ARE YOU NOT SLEEPING? WHY ARE YOU NOT SLEEPING? WHY ARE YOU NOT SLEEPING? OH MY GOD, WE'RE AWAKE! OH MY GOD! Ah! Oh my god, I'm going to die here, friends. I cannot believe I just woke up that orange ball orb and it didn't just... It didn't just chase me down and kill me. Stun it, please. Stun it. God. God damn it, I am using too much of these... Die. I'm just so pissed off about how badly I'm doing in this freaking dungeon. I'm doing so poorly. I had to use four freaking blue potions and purple potions in this dungeon. Why are you still awake? Go to sleep! Good God! You are the lightest goddamn sleeper on the face of the earth, my friend. If I like go anywhere near you, you're gonna wake your ass up. My Lord, this is a this is ridiculous. I've never. Like this is the ca this is how I thought orange pigmen orange bulb orbs would be. Like I told you when I first encountered them that they're known for being really light sleepers and that they're really really um oh god damn it. You know what? We have to kill this. Oh my god. Oh, this is suicide. This is freaking suicide. But as I was trying to say, I'm surprised that those things don't do the stuff like that more often to be honest. You figure that they're such like sleepers that they would be able that they just wake up all the time if you got anywhere near them. But I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles, or I guess that's the way the ball borb sleeps. Well, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. All right. Okay, try to make sure that ball didn't have a treasure inside him. Oh my God! Oh God, no! I hate this game sometimes. I'm shocked that I just didn't lose 10 whites. I'm shocked that I didn't just lose 10 white Pikmin. My lord. This, that, was a, that was a bloody miracle. <laughs> spouse alert. I guess that little bell warns you when your spouse is afoot. Alrighty. We need to find that last treasure. So, oh, here doesn't Glimp Beetle. Come here, doesn't Glimp Beetle. Here doesn't Glimp Beetle. I thought I heard that thing. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, you. Give me potion. Give me potion. Damn it. And he flees. But, 
More importantly, we got another red potion that we are going to take the fair way, not the cheap way. And we all have flowers, so we do not need that other potion or that nectar you got for us. So, we thank you for your nectar, sir, but we do not need it. Okay, we're going to avoid that orange ball, but I'll cost because he's dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Or woman. Don't know. Don't know what gender ball bulbs are. Oh, my God. There's going to be traps here. There's going to be traps here. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad news bears. Bad news bears. And I'm going to scream and I'm going to die. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the last treasure is obviously back there. So let's kill these guys. All right. There's me trap. There's me trap. I just know it. There's me trap. I <laughs> please live, lights. Please live. I just know it. I just know it. Like a, like a volatile dweeble or a rock. It's just gonna fall from the sky and it's gonna kill me. All my Pikmin. It's gonna make me a sad panda. Okay. I think we. I think we made it. I think we're good. I think we are good. I'm going to make sure that they. Successfully get past this ball bulb without dying. Please. Oh, good. Good. No more sad panda. Okay. Alrighty, friends. They are going to return that, and then we are going to descend to the last and final sub level and finish off this dungeon. So let's see where's the exit. The flame tiller. Spit fire yo yo. We are. Only the coolest kids play with yo-yos. I remember when yo-yos were like super popular for a while, actually. They were like super, super popular with people that I knew, and we were all like, yo-yos, yeah, we're yo-yo guys. And we did yo-yos, and we were the coolest cats. We were the coolest cats of all. Cool cat Olimar over here doing his thing. Alrighty. Final floor. <sighs> okay, for starters. Firstly, if we're doing anything, send a captain ahead. As you can see, meet the Bulborb larva. The Bulborb larva, as you can obviously tell, is a larva of a Bulborb. The reason why, you're probably wondering like, where are these things coming from? Why are they here? Why do you, why are you having a Catherine run out and punch them to death? Well, these things are awful. They devour Pikmin instantly. And as you can see up there, the boss of this dungeon is another Empress Ballblax. However, this Empress Ballblax is a little different. As you can tell, Empress Ballblax is a baby-making machine. And she will continuously have babies. Forever. Until you kill her. So, this boss is very annoying. I am not a fan of this form of Empress Ballblax. But, now that we have Olmar situated up there, we can advance forward with Louie and the rest of our Pikmin. But periodically, we need to go back to Olimar to ensure that he doesn't die and kills any of the Bulbin or the Bulborb larvae that are spawning. They will be locked onto him. They will follow him. Um, for the most part, they will not really be interested in going after Louis or the other captain. Or Louis, the other captain, obviously, is the other captain we have. So we can continuously hop back and forth between the two killing the ball of larva with Olimar. He will kind of evade them a little bit. Else, When you switch uh, to a captain you don't have control, or from a captain you don't have control anymore, some AI uh, kind of operates a little bit, and he kind of evades some enemies lightly, but it's not really reliable. I would not sit Olimar back there and just let him run away, considering he's uh, kind of low in health, to be honest. I actually might switch him out for Louie um, in a second, just because I don't want him to die, but let us bring all our Pikmin up here, so that we can begin this fight. God, this fight is annoying in my opinion, but it is okay. We are not worried too much about it. So, actually, yeah, here's what we're going to do. We are going to have Olmar swap places with Louis because Louis has more health. Louis. Come here, Louis. Louis, no, you are going to... Oh, God damn it. Okay, here we go. Okay. So making sure that no Baldwin got the other, no Baldwin got the other side. Alright, so, let us finally begin this fight. We are going to do this the right way. We are going to be finally use, uh, god damn it, this, ah, I'm fucking up right now. Louis is taking a beating from all these goddamn larva. God, this fight, I hate this fight, I'm sorry guys. I cannot stress how much this fight pisses me off. <laughs> 
Louie is just getting chomped to pieces over here. And if you don't have two captains for this fight, you are boned. You are so boned. You are so screwed. God. Because I just can't ever want to catch up right I just want to make sure that there's no goddamn... Okay, fine. We're just going to start. Go, potion. Okay. One trick to also note is that when she's doing her spinning technique like she does in the first fight against her, she does not spawn Pikmin. So, typically... Take a minute. All right, here we go. Take advantage of that, and Louie, finish these guys off. And now, uh, let's get ready for another round. Now that we've got her spinning again, we can kind of counteract a little bit of the uh, effect of her spawning by quickly getting her to go back into this form very quickly. If we do it fast enough. See? Like that. And she spawns very few of her Baldwin larvae, and we can quickly just begin and finish off this fight. We're going to use other of poses. I want to finish this fight up quickly. Get right up under her nose and just spam away. There we go. Very nice. It was very great. Oh. oh, actually, probably. The oh, Louie's about to die, my friends. But luckily for us, Empress Bulblax is as well. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on, Louie. Take one more good hit for us, boy. God damn it. Uh, Louis count. Louis got like two more hits in him. But we're gonna we're gonna finish this ball off, I think, before that happens. Oh yeah, this fight is frustrating. It's tedious. The Empress Ballback's flight was never very fun in my opinion, but Come on, get off her. Oh, I uh, I think a blue got left behind. Yeah, blue got a blue stayed to fight. Okay, blue, I'm sorry. Finish this fight quickly. Come on, come on. There we go. And Louie uh, almost dies. <laughs> Louie almost dies. <laughs> well, Louie, I thank you for taking those hits for us. You, sir, are a brave man. Erf! Olfactory sensors overloading, approaching outer stink limits. The stench must be emanating from that object. It appears we have a young tyke's shoe. Let us quickly return that shoe to once it belonged. Belonging with me. Because we belong together. Alrighty, uh, I believe, yeah, the exit is actually right along the path that we have to take to get to the ship. Yep, right here. So, we merely have to just sit here and wait for these young lads and lasses to venture this back to their ship, and we can continue on with our lives in peace and happiness. There we go. We have the repungent appendage. This object has a pocket of air underneath its surface is perfect for boots I am making. Processing complete nano assemblage of the rush boots is concluded. These nullify wind resistance by circulating air beneath the soles. You move faster and you'll no longer be blown away by puffy blowhog nasal blasts. Albeit the puffy blowhog effect is not as significant as the speed movement. Yes, we are now faster. As you can clearly see, we move super quickly now, which is great for individualized captains moving across areas very quickly. And also, white Pikmin now keep up with us. White Pikmin are now the only Pikmin that really keep up with us, which is the actual downside to this treasure, in my opinion. Now, Pikmin have a much harder time keeping up with you, to be honest, which I think is actually not as good. But, fingers crossed, did we get all the treasures in the dungeon? Yes, we did! Cave complete! We lost 13 Pikmin along the way, though. How unfortunate. And with very few, very few seconds remaining in the rest of the day, we shall end the episode off here. Well, not here, here, but we shall complete the day and then the episode should be over. 80% of debt recovered! Alrighty, my friends. Oh, look at that. We actually have a little bit of time. Let's do some, uh, let's do some Pikmin gathering. I think that'd be a great way to end the day off. And I can kind of just talk to you guys about stuff. But yes, um, I think I mentioned this maybe in this episode, maybe in the last episode, I don't actually remember. Um, yeah, I need to make that 
thank you video for you guys. I really feel like that was something that I should have really got my act together on and really focused a little bit more with. Um, I am gonna sit down sometime in the very near future, probably maybe sometime tonight, if not tomorrow, and really sit down and figure out how to make that webcam footage to work, because I am super, super wanting you guys to get that FaceTime from me. I think that's really, really crucial for, um, as a part of the community now, I really want you guys to know, like, who you're watching. I think that's super important, in my opinion. But I'll explain more of the reason why I feel like that's important when I make the damn video, which will happen soon. Okay, we need to hurry up. Actually, we don't have time to carry those things to carry back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. We don't have that much time left in the day. We ain't got, we ain't got time. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. We've got two blues and two yellows. What a, what, what, a, what a momentous day. What a greatly beneficial day we just had. How wonderful. We'll just break these down because I'm bored and want to do something. Ten. Nine ants went marching on and then there were eight because one got eight by seven brown cats and the seven brown cats got attacked by six dogs and those six dogs got mauled by five bears and those five bears got killed by four eagles and those four eagles got killed by three bears wolves and three bear wolves got killed by one human with a gun that left zero things left alive. What a beautiful song. I should go into uh, the music business. The business. The music business. The music business. You know, in the music business, we make lots of money, but I made so much money today, I'm a, I'm a music pro. I could go into the music business. Pippin wise, we lost reds. We gained, uh, we gained yellows. We, we lost blues. We gained whites. And even after all the purples we lost, we still managed to gain two purples. Oh, wow. I should not get rewarded for playing as poorly as I did. Olimar, you'll soon be promoted to manage. Only a small bit of debt remains. You've done great. As have I. No one dodges debt collectors like, like I do. I am a pro. You, sir, are a champion, President. We shall hopefully resume and see you shortly, my friend. And with that, now that we have finally conquered the Frontier Cavern, in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2, we shall venture into one of the few remaining dungeons. And probably, depending on how much treasure we shall find, depending on where you guys might want to see me go, I have a feeling I know where you want me to go, we will hopefully, very quickly, within maybe the next two episodes, find all of the treasures we need to bleh, get our 10,000 Poco debt solved. So, without my friends, if you haven't done so already, feel free to follow me on uh, Twitter or add me on Skype. Either or would make me a happy, happy panda. And with that, my friends, I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you're all having an awesome day.